relative frequency and probability. So this is very similar to experimental probability and we're going to look at the frequency of uh, things occurring here. So let's look at rolling a die 60 times. So we're rolling a die 60 times. And let's look at the following results. So this is going to be our roll. We can roll a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. We're going to look at the frequency of it happening. So it's like 11 ones, 10 twos, 8 threes, 12 fours, 14 fives, and 5 sixes. So let's look at how we can find the relative frequency. So to find the relative frequency of each one, we just take its frequency and divide it by the amount of times the thing occurred. So we rolled it 60 times, so this one would be 11 over 60. This one's 10 over 60, 8 over 60, 12 over 60, 14 over 60, and 5 over 60. Now we can just simplify our fractions. 11 over 60 is simplified. This one can be both divided by 10. This one we can divide by 4. This one we can divide by 12. This one we can divide by 2. And this one we can divide them both by 5. So let's just simplify all those. So here we'll get 1 over 6. This one we're getting 2 out of 15. Here we get 1 out of 5. This one we get 7 out of 30. And here we get 1 out of 12. So that one just stays as 11 over 60. And if you add up all the relative frequencies, you should get 1.